Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with His Majesty King Mohammed VI, King of Morocco, in which he congratulated His Majesty King Mohammed on his successful surgical procedure, which he held in the French capital. His Majesty the King wished His Majesty King Mohammed lasting good health and wellness, and to the people of Morocco further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's wide le wise leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI, King of Morocco, on the occasion of his successful surgical procedure, which he held in the French capital. His Majesty the King wished His Majesty King Mohammed lasting good health and wellness, and to the people of Morocco further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's wise leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakir Palace the Council of Representatives Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mulla, the Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, their deputies and members of the committee to respond to the Royal Speech in the Shura and Representatives Council, where they presented to His Majesty the responses of the Councils to His Majesty's Royal Speech in the opening of the fourth session of the fourth legislative term. His Majesty expressed pride in the important role of the legislative authority in consolidating the foundations of the democratic march, enhancing its contribution to the comprehensive development march and adopting the issues of the Bahraini society. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the councils for their contributions in serving the development march, reinforcing national unity and defending the country's issues through developing laws and regulations to serve citizens. His Majesty also hailed the cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities and their efforts to make achievements for Bahrain. His Majesty the King hailed the response of the councils that included proposals and constructive ideas for performance development and consolidation of the foundations of state institutions and the law, as well as the promotion of the democratic process to continue the joint march of national action. His Majesty expressed pride in the contributions of the people of Bahrain in all fields and the role in reinforcing Bahrain's pioneering role at all levels. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain is proceeding steadily in its development march towards further building for the benefit of its citizens and future generations, wishing all success in their national duties. In reply to His Majesty's speech, the Shura Council expressed pride in the national values royal vision and future aspirations for the Kingdom's progress presented in His Majesty's speech. The Council also hailed His Majesty's interest in Bahraini competencies, who proved their efficiency and ability to excel in various fields. The Council expressed appreciation for the high status of Bahraini women held regionally and internationally as a result of His Majesty's appreciation to women and the Kingdom's efforts to provide an environment that supports them and is suitable for them. The Council of Representatives also replied to His Majesty's speech, expressing pride and appreciation for His Majesty's efforts to establish the principles of Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The Council praised His Majesty's interest in the Palestinian cause for its importance in speeches, voicing support to this approach. The Council also lauded the vital role of the Bahraini Armed Forces at Bahrain Defence Force, the Ministry of Interior, the National Guard and the National Security Officers in maintaining security and civil peace between community members.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on a successful surgical procedure, wishing him lasting good health and wellness to achieve Morocco and its people's aspirations of more progress and prosperity under His Majesty's wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gadebia Palace a number of royal family members and senior officials, where he discussed with them various domestic issues. His Royal Highness expressed pride in Bahrain's achievements, made under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the political, democratic and institutional levels, noting in this regard the level of cooperation between the executive and legislative branches, in regards to all that concerns the Kingdom and its future. His Royal Highness affirmed his keenness to bolster this cooperation and work towards further joint coordination to fulfil the aspirations of the citizens and their needs. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister underscored the Kingdom's projects in various economic, investment and development fields and that they are the results of the efforts exerted by the country's citizens, highlighting that these projects will drive the growth rate higher levels and that benefit all. His Royal Highness noted the government's keenness to support the private sector for it to play a more influential role in the development march and that it is working to develop the investment environment in the Kingdom through the legislation and procedures that ensure the openness and economic flexibility that characterise Bahrain and constitute one of the national's economic pillars. The Premier also stressed the importance of enhancing communication among the members of society and this will have a significant impact on strengthening national unity and cohesion, encouraging all to work for the purpose of the Kingdom's elevation. He also reiterated the need to direct energies towards serving the country, especially in this time when the region is facing multiple challenges that call for us all to focus on issues that safeguard the homeland security and stability.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Kadebia Palace the President and members of Al Naim Club and Al Naim Youth Centre, headed by the Honorary President of the Centre, Mohammed Sassan Kamal Al Din, and the President of the Centre, Ghazi Abdul Muzin. His Royal Highness stated that meeting with the citizens affirms the unity and cohesion of Bahrain and reflects his follow up on citizen affairs and the direct identification of their needs adding that the meetings represent an opportunity to express appreciation and pride in the contributions of the people of Bahrain to the National March. Al-Naim residents hailed the keenness of His Royal Highness to identify their needs and fulfil their requests. Al-Naim residents voiced support to the directors of His Royal Highness that call for unity. His Royal Highness asserted the government's keenness on directing all developmental projects and programmes to all areas of the Kingdom. The Prime Minister noted the important role of the youth culture and sports centres in enhancing communication values between community members. His Royal Highness hailed the centre and its role in supporting Bahraini youth, developing their energies and encouraged them to serve their country. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of meetings with citizens, noting that Al Naim area is the heart of the government's interest in regards to development projects. For his part, the centre's president delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness on developing the areas of the Kingdom and for his efforts to enhance the Kingdom's progress. He also commended His Royal Highness's keenness on meeting the needs of Al-Naim residents. أن شعبكم الوفي ينظر إلى هذه اللقاءات نظرة المعجب بقيادتكم وإدارتكم الحكيمة وهو على ثقة بأن صدق النوايا هي الكفيلة بالوصول لكل ما نصب إليه على أرض مملكتنا الغالية وكلنا داعمون لكم يا صاحب السمو وداعمون لكل توجيهاتكم السديدة في هذا الشأن ونحن مع نهجكم في لمح الشم وتجميع الكلم ونحن خلف عباءتك يا صاحب السم ونحن خلف عباءتك يا صاحب السم نسير على نهجك للوصول بهذا البلد إلى بر الأمان فإن مركز شباب النعيم قد تطورت أنشطته حتى أصبح هذا المركز شعلة وراية تنير دروب أبنائنا وبناتنا نحو العلا في جميع أنشطته الثقافية والرياضية والاجتماعية والفنية وكما تزينت منطقة النعيم قديما بمقدم سمو الأمير الراحل الوالد المغفور له بإذن الله تعالى صاحب السمو الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان آل خليفة أمير البلاد المفدى رحمه الله إلى أرض النعيم عندما صنع أبناؤها السفينة المخصصة لسموه والذي تحول فيه ذلك اليوم إلى عيد من أعياد النعيم على سواحلها فإننا اليوم نتزين بمبادرات سموكم الكريمة في إكمال فرحة أبنائكم لاستكمال كل مشاريع البنية الرياضية في هذه المنطقة
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gadebia Palace the outgoing ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to Bahrain, Abdurid Abdul Hori. His Royal Highness praised the continuous development of the deep rooted bilateral relations, which stems from the two countries' leadership support. He affirmed that Bahraini Emirati relations are a model of cooperation and integration between nations in various fields. The Premier hailed the supportive stances of the UAE to Bahrain and his contributions to the Kingdom's development. He praised the efforts of the outgoing ambassador, which have contributed to developing and strengthening the fraternal relations between Bahrain and the UAE in all fields. He wished the ambassador success in serving his country. For his part, the UAE ambassador to the Kingdom expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the support he received from the government, led by His Royal Highness the Premier. He noted that his support served as a foundation for the development of bilateral relations. He wished the Kingdom further development and prosperity under the wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulation to Morocco's His Majesty King Mohammed VI on the successful surgical procedure he underwent in the French capital, wishing him perpetually good health and wellness to achieve Morocco and its people's aspirations for more progress and prosperity under his leadership of His Majesty. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Higher Organising Committee of Bahrain International Air Show, the BIAS, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the committee's first meeting of the Air Show's fifth edition. His Highness noted the success of the previous editions, adding that the Kingdom's become a global hub for the industry of air shows, in light of the wise directives, vision and unlimited support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Sheikh Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for his continuous support, which contributed to the success of the event. He also expressed appreciation for the follow-up and strategic directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He commended the cooperation between the Ministry of Defence and the Bahrain Royal Air Force, which contributed immensely to facing all challenges. He also hailed the cooperation between ministries, institutions and public and private authorities, expressing thanks and appreciation to all parties and individuals who contributed to the success of previous editions. His Highness emphasised that this has contributed positively to strengthening the national economy. The Ayrshire will be held under the patronage of His Majesty the King from the 14th to the 16th of November. Sheikh Abdullah pointed out that the experience gained from hosting air shows has prompted global companies in the field of aviation to participate in an uh, event. The International Bahrain Air Show has become a leading destination for aircraft manufacturers, international airlines, tourism companies and businessmen as they exhibit their avionics and aircrafts. His Highness hailed the participation of brotherly countries, extending his invitation to them to participate in the 2018 edition. He said that the fifth edition of the Air Show, which will be held in Sakhir Air Base, will witness a wide participation and will include the latest civil and military aircrafts. The exhibition will also feature international teams, as well as civil and military conferences and special recreational programmes. Upon his arrival, His Highness was received by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication and Deputy Chairman of the Higher Organising Committee of the Bahrain Air Show, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed a number of committee members and senior officials. Sheikh Abdullah was briefed by Minister Mohammed and the committee's members on the preparations and proposals for the exhibition. The personal representative of His Majesty the King directed to extend the exhibition to accommodate more people and provide more services, facilities, programmes and events for families and children. After the meeting, the Minister of Transportation gave a statement to Bahrain News Agency highlighting that more than 95% of the exhibition sectors have been booked. He hailed the events and the directors of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah, adding that the previous efforts have attracted major global civil and military aviation companies. He stated that the company's request to take part in the air show and their destinies to expand their businesses in the region 
have resulted in increasing the air show's exhibition area to 10,000 square metres. Agreements are being made with the United States and the United Kingdom, the Republic of India and the Republic of Sudan, Russia, France, Turkey and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to complete the rest of the allocated spaces. The Council of Representatives held its weekly session today, presided over by Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah. The Council discussed the Services Committee report and approved a draft law, adding an article to the Social Insurance Law. The Council reviewed the report of the Public Utilities and Environment Affairs Committee and approved a draft law amending certain provisions of Law 37 for the year 2014 on organising the process of extracting and selling sand. The Council also approved five reports, including six proposals on the prohibition and combating of money laundering and terrorism financing the amendment and inclusion of a new article in the Code of Criminal Procedure, the amendment of the Care, Rehabilitation and Employment of Persons with Disabilities Law, and the amendment of the law organising pension and retirement benefits for government employees. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, and conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister of Foreign Affairs conveyed His Majesty's message of the brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE and the two brotherly peoples, as well as His Majesty's pride in the solidarity between the two countries. They also discussed the latest developments in the region and ways to meet the challenges facing the countries, as well as His Majesty the King's appreciation for the UAE's rules to bolster security and peace in the region and the world at large. This came as the Minister of Foreign Affairs was received yesterday at Al Baha Palace by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, who conveyed his greetings to His Majesty the King and his wishes of progress and prosperity for Bahrain and its people. The Minister praised the strong brotherly and deep-rooted ties between Bahrain and the UAE, which witnesses progress at all levels. He expressed the Kingdom's pride in the honourable status of the UAE, as well as its continued support to the security and stability in Bahrain. The Minister took part in the launch of the Founders Memorial, a tribute to Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nayan, held yesterday in Abu Dhabi, in honour of the late Sheikh Zayed. The Minister expressed his pride in taking part of the launch of Founders Memorial, which reflects the role of the outstanding contributions of the late Sheikh Saeed to the United Arab Emirates, the region and the world that will continue to be an aspiring model to all nations and humanity. The Chief Executive Officer of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, ARIRA, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a press conference on the event of the implementation of Law 27 of 2017 regarding the real estate sector regulation. The conference stated that RERA will be ready to receive the real estate sector affiliates at the beginning of March. The meeting affirmed the importance of gaining licences for all real estate professions and the necessity of providing all requirements particularly those related to the escrow account. The latest regional and international practices in selling policies and real estate development field have been adopted. Following the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to allocate and distribute 4,800 housing units in the Kingdom's governorate. The Housing Ministry continues the process of electronic withdrawal in the housing units in the islands 13 and 14 in the Northern City project until the end of next month. The Ministry affirmed that this came with the progress in building housing units in the Northern City, which witnesses continuous acceleration in teams of construction work and infrastructure of units implemented by the Ministry from the Government Budget and the Gulf Development Programme, in addition to the housing projects implemented by the private sector, noting the role of ministries and concerned government bodies to speeding up the building process. The ministry stated that the Northern City project is one of the major strategic projects in the government's work programme, in which the Ministry of Housing is committed to build 25,000 housing units before the end of 2018, and stressed that the new cities in Bahrain met thousands of housing applications.
The Coast Guard Command continues to perform its duties of maintaining maritime safety and spreading awareness on the guidelines that guarantee the safety of seafarers and beachgoers. The command also registers ships to ensure their safety. The Coast Guard Command ensures maritime control of all the Kingdom's coasts and territorial boundaries and takes all necessary measures to regulate and secure the movement of vessels to ensure maritime safety. In this regard, the Coast Guard Command has called owners of unregistered small vessels with a total weight of less than 150 tons to submit registration applications at the Registration and Licensing section. At the beginning of this year, Law 2 of 2018 had been issued stipulating the registration and safety regulations for small vessels to replace Decree 20 of 1979. The new law defines a vessel as every maritime unit with a total weight of less than 150 tons regardless to use. The Coast Guard Command calls owners of unregistered small vessels to submit registration applications at the registration and licensing section under the Coast Guard including sails boats and jet skis. The vessels that require registration include boats, jet skis, sailboats and floating crafts of all sizes. The procedure primarily aims to enhance the system of vessel regulation. Law 2 of 2018 regulates the registration and licensing of all small vessels, including jet skis, whose owners are required to submit a registration application to guarantee their ownership in case of loss. The Coast Guard will provide the technical inspection service of jet skis to guarantee their seaworthiness. The Coast Guard Command continues its efforts of maintaining maritime security and safety, which is an integral part of comprehensive security and public safety.